Brad's a bit intense sometimes. He's just got into all this British and national stuff. He says they're going to get rid of all the foreigners from our country. I'm not sure foreigners really even bother me. His dad says they're taking all our jobs and ruining our country. But my mum and dad have both got jobs. And they don't seem that bothered by foreigners. I'm a bit worried I'm friends with a racist. I mean, he's a nice guy when he's not going on about foreigners and ethnic minorities. And sometimes even starts on queers too, but... The rest of the time he's a laugh. <laughs> Think about what I just said, he sounds like a right idiot. But I've known him all my life. And well... He's all right. Yeah, he's... He's all right. Actually, it's a bit worrying because I guess someone felt the same way about Hitler. I sometimes tell Brad I'm not interested. But maybe I should tell him the way he talks about people disgust me. But then I really can't be bothered arguing about it. But is that what all Hitler's friends thought? Yeah, yeah, okay. That's a strange idea, Adolf, about all the gas chambers. But do you fancy a kickabout? Hey, Adolf, I didn't think you were that serious about all this war business. But should we get a bratwurst and forget about it for now? You invaded Poland? Yeah, I'll forgive you for now, because it was hilarious when we were kids, and we waterbombed Mr Schindler. <laughs> yeah, maybe I do need to stand up for what I believe in as much as he does. I don't want to be party to the next Hitler. I don't want to be a war criminal, just because I couldn't be bothered to put my point across. I don't want him telling people I agree with him, just because I thought it'd be easy to say nothing. I guess next time I have to say something, or I'm no better than him. And if it means we can't be friends, then maybe he's not the right person to be friends with.